put in the research, put in the work, so there is no surprises tomorrow. So the number comes out, it's received positively, you got a lot of good looking charts, right? Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. First time here, uh, subscribe, uh, like the channel, give us great support. Again, what we try to do is give you an, an incredibly unbiased opinion of what's going on, whether the market's going higher, or lower, or different. Uh, there is always a chance of an area of interest via technical analysis, and that's exactly what we provide going into tomorrow, right? Uh, obviously, it's a big day, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of wrap this little update a little sooner. Uh, today, my son is a freshman, first uh, high school basketball game today, so I'm very, very eager to uh, get there. So let's take a quick history lesson, what happened the last three CPIs, right? And this is where, um, when you're looking into the future, and tomorrow the future is at 8.30 in the morning, and this is where the CPI number will come out uh, for December, and everybody thinks they're smarter than the market and then trying to handicap what it is. Let's talk about the last three scenarios of what happened, right? Here is, and keep this in mind, all three scenarios had basically the same narrative, right? When, when the data came out on the CPI. Uh, number one, inflation continues to be a problem. Number two, right, this is the same thing over and over again. Number two, uh, we are trying to, we are, trying to tame inflation and we are ready to act and oh by the way we might or might not start curving down or tapering uh some of the basis point hikes uh into the future that's basically what it is right so nothing more nothing less the same thing so here was september september with this news that came out september the dow fell 1200 points october right october we initially gapped up on the news right gapped up on the news i think it was like a 350 points on the Dow, went red, went down 500, rebounded very, very aggressively, right? Very, very aggressively to close higher. The next day, we pretty much gave everything back. And by the way, we then we started rallying. A lot of stuff going on here. This is the last one, right? This is the last one. So we had a sell-off, then we had a, a gap up, sell-off to get to the rally again. And here was the last one. The last one was on November the 10th, the CPI came out, everything was guns blazing everything went higher we had a nice little retrace for three days we went sideways tested the bottom of the range as you can see here very clearly pal came out gave that epic pal boost on that random wednesday we went up four and a half percent uh in two hours on the queues only to sell off to the bottom of the range here five days later and then here we are right here we are going into tomorrow's session and i i think uh when you when you go by and especially you know on social media and stuff like that you're, you're going to see a lot of people preparing for this monster rally tomorrow. Okay, if, if that was definitely 100% set in stone, man, sign me in, max buying power on every single position, but we don't know that, guys, and that's the whole point. We don't know that. Tomorrow is another trading day like everything else. And I, I wanna give a little bit of a piece of advice, especially to new traders. You guys are hearing for the last three, four days the, the importance of the CPI number, the importance the following day, Wednesday, of, of, of uh, the Fed statement, right? Of course, this is absolutely important, but keep this in mind. Your, your, your trading career is not going to be made or broken based on these two days. And, and unfortunately, a lot of new traders, they're sensationalized, they're putting into their head that they, 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 they're putting this on such a pedestal the next two days that they're already so emotionally charged and we're not even there yet. I've seen people talk about, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. What are you holding, $800 million worth of positions? Why wouldn't you sleep tonight? Tomorrow is exactly the same as today. The only difference between tomorrow is we're going to experience violence. We know that, right? Whether the market is up a thousand, down a thousand, up 500, down 500, we don't know that. The only thing we do know, it's going to be violent. And unlike uh, a normal trading day when things are very organic, lethargic, very predictable, violence is, well, that's what it is. It's volatility. The market's gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. And this is not, you know, this is not an area of concentration if you're a brand new trader, just getting your feet wet. You wanna kind of run away from those days, right? Because again, you can't handle risk. You can't emotionally handle any position because every every move is gonna be wicked out. Unless you're trading really a longer time frame, especially 
on the intraday basis of 60 minute channels versus the smaller time frames, the one, five, or the 15, or whatever the case may be, at least you have a, a sense of what the market could do and should do on the next candle because there's only six of them. The problem is tomorrow, a lot of traders are going into, going to sleep tonight and they're gonna be waking up looking at futures at four o'clock in the morning, don't know why, considering the number is coming out at 8.30. Take a deep breath, guys. I'm telling you, take a deep breath. You're already you're already psyching yourself out subconsciously before the day start. If you're a brand new trader, the last thing you should be doing is can't wait for the CPI number. Really? Really? You really can't wait for the CPI number? Okay. If you're an experienced trader, you know violence is unpredictable. You know it's anarchy, right? You know it's like the purge. The last thing you want to do is stick your feet into the fire until things calm down. I do believe whether the CPI is going to be received good, received bad, I do believe there's enough value on both sides of the market that we can be prepared. And that's the only thing, right? I have no I possible, any possible I idea of what the CPI number is gonna do, right? I take data, I trade off that data, I, I have ranges on both the upside to the downside, and that's all that matters to me. The, 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 you know, the, the, the back and forth, speaking on both, both sides of the mouth, you know, having an opinion, trying to sound intelligent, that's not my thing. I don't think that's anybody's thing, but everybody wants to put you in a situation to believe that you are less intelligent than everybody else. Guys, nobody knows what's gonna to happen tomorrow, right? The most important part is go through your charts. If you trade technology, look at the technology names, right? Right? you're going to see some really clean looking shorts you're going to see some pretty clean looking longs right so let me give you an example if the market rallies tomorrow look how good nvidia looks right looks great if the market gets killed tomorrow look how crappy tesla looks right if and again market was up 500 today leading up to the cpi somebody didn't tell tesla right and that's the whole point and tesla not only was it down today it is literally it's an, a stone throws away of taking down this macro channel. And if, and if you saw the betting, right? If you if you saw the betting going to the CPI, they weren't betting the 230, 240, 250 calls. They were betting the 165, 160, 155 puts on the weekly basis. So, you know, there's, there's plenty of good value on both sides of the market. You just have to put your work in today and whatever sides confirms, right? Whatever side confirms, that's the side you want to attack and you want to attack it with extreme prejudice because you're going to be prepared for it. Like for example, look at Boeing, right? Look how good Boeing looks, right? That looks really, really good. Look at Chewy, look how good Chewy looks, right? That looks really, really good. So regardless of what they say, right? CPI, PPI, ABCD, EFG, nobody cares. As long as you are prepared for tomorrow's session, the market can't blindside you. You're not going to be stuck uh, in, in purgatory because you're gonna know and you're gonna be prepared on both sides of the market. Hey, the market's good, NVIDIA looks great. The market's good, Microsoft looks great. The market's bad, look at Meta, couldn't rally the whole day, right? Meta looks like crap. If it starts taking down this bottom channel here, it's gonna go lower. Tesla, if, it's, if the market's crap, it's gonna go lower. Amazon looks pretty good, right? Amazon looks pretty good. But, but again, there's both sides of the market. It's, Amazon is either gonna take out this top of the range or this bottom of the range. Again, we're going to be prepared for both sides of the market. And that's the only thing you can do. Give yourself a puncher's chance with common sense, technical analysis, and acting like an adult. Because if you go into tomorrow's session completely unprepared and just read the headline, you're gonna be really, really in a dark place in about 15 minutes later. Don't be sidetracked put in the research, put in the work, so there is no surprises tomorrow. So the number comes out, it's received positively, you got a lot of good looking charts, right? The market comes out, perceives negative, and it, it's a it's carbon copy of two uh, of September's uh, CPI instead of last month's, then you're gonna have some pretty good value to the downside as well. If you look at the spies, again, let me give you guys a couple of ranges here. Spies to the upside, starts building above 400, right? starts building above 400, we're gonna go higher. Spy start building below 393, we're gonna go lower, right? Again, don't be, again, don't be fooled by the noise. Read the charts and know exactly your levels. Look at Qs, right? Qs start getting above 86. Remember we talked about 86 last night, right? On, on the weekend video, right? 86 is the big number, it continues to be the big number. 86 to the upside, you can see here, it got rejected twice off the same number here, 285.64. It start, Q start building 286. Yeah, we're gonna start moving higher. But on the flip side, and again, this is kind of what we talked about last night in the video, Q start getting below 278, then we have a completely different conversation for tomorrow's video. So that's it guys, okay? You know, relax, take a deep breath, get off of social media tonight. You don't need to, you don't need to go on Twitter spaces with 25 guest hosts trying to handicap what they think is gonna happen. Nobody knows.
You can, you can physically have, right? You can physically have the announcement right now in your hand and you still don't know how the market's gonna react. That's how volatile, that's how aggressive, and more important, that's how violent it's gonna be. Guys, again, we don't like violence. We like boring, you know, right? Boring, lethargic, predictable. Violence is chaotic and somebody eventually will get hurt. And if you're not prepared of what about to happen into tomorrow, Hopefully that won't be you. Guys, God bless. I'm going to a basketball game. Have a great night. I will see you all in the video tomorrow. And with God's help, we'll all be there together. Take care, everybody. Have a great night.